Welcome from PCB Fab Express. Your first stop for quick turn and low cost, PCB assembly. The short behind the scenes video is focused on the PCB plating process. The boards are put into the self ring tank. They are submerged in liquid and are kept there for half an hour, until all the excess material comes off. After that, the boards are then washed off, and taken to the outer layer edge. When the boards go on they have nothing on them except the traces. They go through the machine and the machine etches the outside layers. Plating is the process by which copper is deposited in the drilled holes, essentially making those holes become a hollow conductive wire. Once the boards are going through plating they must be tended to by a technician. The boards are moved from one tank to another to ensure uniform plating. Since there are a lot of toxic chemicals involved, plating operators and anyone entering the plating area are required to wear protective gear. For gold plating, there is a separate tank system. Since the surface finish is different and needs more care, the tanks are different. Depending on the thickness of the gold some of the tanks might not be needed. For electroless plating, the boards are put into an aqueous solution which makes sure the gold binds to the nickel or copper traces. Hydrogen is used as a reducing agent to oxidize and produce a negative charge on the surface. Then gold plating is applied as a thin layer on the surface. It ensures a corrosion resistant, electrically conductive layer. If gold is put directly on the copper, there is a chance of creating black pads, so generally, a layer of nickel is plated between gold and copper. As a special gift just for watching this video, instantly download your free PCB ebook about how you can better manufacture a more cost-effective PCB, today.